Jamon. This is Pastor Hannah. Jamon 친구들, 안녕하세요. Hannah 전도사님이요. So glad to see you guys on Friday night service. Thank you so much for joining our Jamon online service. It's so great to be here to worship the Lord with you guys. Today we're going to continue the story of Moses. We were in a transition from story of Joseph to now story of Moses. And finally, today we get to meet him, to hear about him. So get excited and during praise time, make sure to stand up, make sure to sing loud with big motions. All right, you guys? Awesome, great. And I'll see you guys after praise time.
and true You will always see me through Mighty, mighty is our God Mighty, mighty, mighty is our God Mighty, mighty, mighty is our God Mighty, mighty, mighty is our God Alright you guys, welcome back from praise time. I love praising God. Isn't it always good to move and to sing, right, for Jesus? Amen? Amen. Alright, at this time, we're going to open up our Bible to book of Exodus chapter 2. We're going to read from verse 7 to verse 10. So we'll be reading 7, 8, 9, and 10, okay? Exodus chapter 2, verses 7 to 10. Now, the book of Exodus is in the Old Testament. It's the second book. Genesis is the first book, and Exodus is the second book. So let's open up our Bible to book of Exodus chapter 2, verses 7 to 10. All right, are you guys ready? Awesome. Let's read it in one voice. Ready? Begin. Exodus chapter 2, verse 7 to 10. Then his sister said to Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and call you a nurse from the Hebrew woman to nurse the child for you? And Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Go. So the girl went and called the child's mother. And Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Take this child away and nurse him for me, and I will give you your wages. So the woman took the child and nursed him. When the child grew older, she brought him to Pharaoh's daughter, and he became her son. She named him Moses because, she said, I drew him out of the water. Amen. Eventually, a new pharaoh came to power who knew nothing of Joseph or what he had done. This pharaoh feared the Israelites because there was a great number of them living in Egypt, so he wanted to put a stop to their prosperity. Pharaoh made the Israelites slaves. He made them work long, hard hours building up Egyptian cities. But his plan didn't work, and the Israelites grew more in number and in strength. Eek. So Pharaoh made a rule that no Israelite boy would be allowed to live in Egypt. This is where Moses' story begins. You see, when Moses was born, his mother saw that he was a special baby. Hmm. And she kept him hidden for three months. But when she could no longer keep him a secret, she made a basket and put him in the Nile River among the reeds. Moses' sister stayed to watch what would happen to her baby brother. And soon the Pharaoh's daughter came to the edge of the river. When she saw the basket, hey. she sent her servant to get it. When she saw the baby, she felt sorry for him, Aww. thinking he must be an Israelite baby who wasn't supposed to live. Then Moses' sister asked the princess if she would like her to find an Israelite woman to take care of the baby. Uh -huh. So Moses' sister went and got her mother. Moses' own mother took care of him until he was old enough to live in the Pharaoh's house, where the princess adopted him as her son. And so, Moses, an Israelite boy who wasn't supposed to live, became the adopted grandson of the Pharaoh and lived in the palace as God prepared him for a great destiny that was only just starting to unfold. 
How many of you guys enjoy the story of Joseph? A lot of you guys, right? I personally love story of Joseph. But now that we're transitioning, we transition from story of Joseph to Moses last week, we get to finally meet baby Moses. How exciting is that, right? Well, the story goes, after Joseph and his family members came over to Egypt to live together, many, 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 many years passed by, and there was a new king in the Egypt, new Pharaoh. And this Pharaoh didn't really know who Joseph was. And while he was looking over his land, he realized that there were a lot of Israelites. And he was afraid that these people might take over the land of Egypt. And so he decided to make an order. He commanded his people to capture all the Israelites and use them as slaves. Now, being a slave is not fun. It's a torture. It's so hard, difficult, right? Nobody wants to be a slave. But then Israelites... They had to become slaves now. They didn't have much choice. Even then, because God blessed them, the Israelites, they grew bigger and bigger and there were more people. And Pharaoh was still scared. He was afraid. And so he said, now let's capture all the baby boys, not baby girl, but baby boys and throw them into the water so that they can drown and die. How terrible is that? During that time, there was a Hebrew mom and Hebrew dad. Now, they had a baby boy. Ooh, you know what happens to the baby boys, right? Right, they get captured and they get thrown into the water to die. But this mom, Hebrew mom, saw the baby and she saw something special. Something very special. So she decided to hide the baby and take care of the baby quietly so that he would not get killed for about three months. But then by the three months, because baby kept crying, growing bigger and bigger, she just couldn't hide the baby anymore. So mom decided to get a basket and she put tar inside the basket so that water doesn't come into the basket. And she laid the baby inside the basket. Now, the mom and the sister went to the river and they put the basket, remember baby is inside, put the basket inside the water. And it was flowing. And his sister, her name is Miriam, she followed the basket quietly to see if the baby was doing okay. The basket was flowing down and down and down to a group of people. Well, as Miriam got closer and closer, she saw a princess, Pharaoh's daughter. She was out there to take a shower during that time. When the princess saw a basket flowing down, she told her servants to get the basket. And when she opened the basket, she saw a Hebrew baby, baby boy. And this baby was crying. Well, she felt really, really bad for the baby. And because she didn't want it to kill the baby, she didn't want the baby to drown. She was thinking of something. Huh, what can I do? And at that moment, Miriam popped out and she said, Oh, princess, princess, I have an idea. Should I get a woman, Hebrew woman for you to take care of the baby so that you don't have to do much? And princess thought that was a clever idea. So she said, yes, go and bring a woman who could help me. And Miriam actually brought her mother. And her mother was able to take care of the baby. 
princess named the baby to Moses because she drew him out of the water. Hmm. Now the mother was able to take care of the baby and she even earned money for taking care of the baby. But the story begins now. It's not the end of the story. The story begins now. And we're going to continue the story next week. So make sure to bring your Bible with you next week, you guys, because we will be reading it together, okay? And know that God's plan is a lot greater and bigger than what we can imagine. All right? Awesome. Great. Let's put our hands together. Let's close our eyes and let us pray at this time. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for teaching us through the story of Moses. I know we just began the story of Moses, but it's so exciting to hear and to see the journey that they'll be going through. We saw from the beginning that you already rescued Moses from the hardship, and we know that you'll be using Moses to rescue your people. So as we learn through the story of Moses, help us to be reminded that you have greater plans, big plans that we can't even imagine. God, we thank you for everything. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen.